And now, ladies and gentlemen, our next candidate. All right, the leader of the Yang Gang. There they are. Hello, South Carolina. It is so fantastic to be here with you. I am not a career politician. I am an entrepreneur and a problem solver. And I am here to solve the biggest problem, the biggest challenge of our time. It is a challenge that got Donald Trump elected in 2016. The reason why Donald Trump is our president today is this. We automated away four million manufacturing jobs here in South Carolina, in Michigan, in Ohio, in Pennsylvania, in Wisconsin, in Missouri, in Iowa. And my friends in technology know that what we did to the manufacturing jobs, we will now do to the retail jobs, the call center jobs, the fast food jobs, the truck driving jobs, and on and on through the economy. We are in the midst of the greatest economic and technological transformation in the history of our country, what experts are calling the fourth industrial revolution. And I am running for president to help manage this transition and advance real solutions for the American people that would help improve our lives. Now, if you've heard anything about me, you've heard this. There's an Asian man running for president who wants to give everyone $1,000 a month. And all three of those things are dead true, South Carolina. What would $1,000 a month mean for the college kids struggling at USC or Columbia College to pay your bills and your tuition and your textbooks? What would $1,000 a month mean for the single mom who's trying to create a better life for their son or daughter? What would $1,000 a month mean for the elderly South Carolinian who's struggling with prescription drug prices that are going higher and higher? This is the vision of a trickle-up economy that, with your help, we will take to the rest of the country in 2020. Trickle up from our families, our communities, up. Our, what do you think, South Carolina? <laughs> this is the vision. We have to solve the problems that got Donald Trump elected in the first place. Now, Donald Trump's our president because he got some of the problems right, but his solutions were garbage and nonsense. His solutions were build a wall, turn back time, bring the jobs back, and we have to do the opposite of all that. We have to turn the clock forward. We have to advance our society and our economy as fast as possible. And I am the man for that job because the opposite of Donald Trump is an Asian man who likes math. Let's make America think harder. Thank you, South Carolina. I love you. Thank you, Congressman Clyburn. Thank you, Andrew. Yeah.